Hey, what do you want? <laughs> Working master, huh? Welcome. Who's new one? Newcomer? Yeah, really? Very new? Uh, brand new? <laughs> okay, uh, what is the purpose of <laughs> you coming here? Oh, I'm sorry, huh? A really, working master is like this. You know what I mean? You see the work going on? Yes. So, I am the most busy boss <laughs> in Meoli. Good that I can see you sometimes. Mm. Cheer me up. If I'm only working level camp, you know, <laughs> level camp, and then I go crazy. Mm. Any news? Any question? Good news? Bad news? No news? So I have a good look, then I go work again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay to be busy, huh? Okay, huh? You all right? Not too much disturbed by the work? No. No? Really? Sometimes? What? What's that? Everybody says it's always too noisy. Too noisy? No, who, who say it's too noisy? Raise your hand. <laughs> ah, you mean, you mean you disturb the workers? <laughs> that right? You're too noisy, is that right? <laughs> you come here, only to stand there. Places here, come here. The standing, the standing ovation. Come over here, yes. <laughs> I don't need your standing ovation. Just come over. I'm just a working staff, <laughs> one of. Wow, this. Um, Every time you come, there will be, yeah, sit here, there's places, yeah, in front here, around here. I can't stand it that you stand, you know. <laughs> come here, yogi, come up. Yeah. Oh, what's wrong? You don't tell me you work too hard? One big rock is dropped on my feet. You drop the rock? No. Oh, did you kick the rock? <laughs> <laughs> sit anywhere, it's all right. I sit there, just all right, yeah, okay. So you mean you hurt the rock? <laughs> and it hit back at you or what? What happened? You we practice? Were rocks and the, rocks drop on uh, the rock can drop on your feet by itself? That's the rock magic. <laughs> it's on the rock, huh? But it didn't hurt so much? Are you okay? I'm okay. Breaking or anything? I think I broke the bones. Broke the bones? Yeah. Oh, and that's all they gave you? Yeah. <laughs> Who gave you? Who? Um, a Chinese lady. Chinese lady is not good enough. Um, I will ask the doctor to come and look at you, okay? okay. Maybe we we'll take you for x-ray tomorrow. And then they put a cast on it. It's better, huh? You don't run to Olympic game tonight, all right? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Is Hong? Thank you. 你等一下哈 maybe tonight if necessary, we have to go and take you to the hospital, okay? Uh, you don't stay there, I guess, no? You like to stay there better? No work? No work? <laughs> Good excuse to just lay in bed and many beautiful nurses run around you. Ah, <laughs> Good vision, huh? <laughs> yeah, even if you meditate, you can't see that much. <laughs> huh? Oh, you consider my offer, okay? <laughs> don't tell me that uh, I don't do anything about for you, okay? Anybody else uh, with broken <laughs> spirit or something? <laughs> it's okay? All of you all right? Yes. When I see you here, I feel a little bit guilty that I haven't seen you earlier. Because I saw you were very happy and welcome when I come, like a big movie star, like... <laughs> Yeah, but when I work, <laughs> sometimes I forget. You know, I'm very forgetful. Do you know that? You remember in Australia, in the middle of the lecture tour? I forgot all about the lecture tour. <laughs> and I came about two hours late. And uh, last night, just because we talked about that yesterday, last night, 
And one of our disciples reminded me that you did that also in Seoul, in Korea. I said, when? I didn't do that. He said, yes, yes, you did. <laughs> Because it was in a, it was afternoon lecture, something like that. And uh, I was very tired. I said, okay, let me have a little rest. So I rest <laughs> <laughs> for around three hours. She said, the lecture is supposed to be at two o'clock. I show up at four. <laughs> I said, you didn't call me. Why didn't you call me? I said, everybody walk up and down with so you snoring. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. I didn't know if I snore or not. You know, I was sleeping. How do I know? Yeah. I said, I, I need a rest, you know. I'm very tired. Well, when I rest, I rest. Huh? I don't mess up. <laughs> and the people ask me, Master, how can you sleep? You know, at such a time. All the master, you know, before the lecture time, they couldn't sleep for many nights. <laughs> for fear of Saturday night fever, you know. Fear of the, the limelight fever, they call it. At least they couldn't sleep for, for one night, you know, before the lecture night. How can you always sleep like that? <laughs> well, I said, I don't know, when you're too tired, you sleep anywhere. <laughs> I forgot, huh? When I work, I forget too. I know that already. I, I thought when I, wa I was watching the clock, it was around um, a little bit after A, huh? I said, okay, uh, I still have uh, about 40 minutes, so I can do some other work, huh? And then, and then I can come to see you later. I still have about 20 minutes to, to, to warn, you know, people down there. Like quarter to nine, then you get together, and then I come at nine. But then when I look at the clock, oh, it's five past nine already. I was thinking maybe you all run home. <laughs> Did anybody go? Not yet, huh? You were so in deep, somebody. <laughs> really? I'm really encouraged. Anybody has become a Buddha? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Buddha business is very serious, you know, it's not a joke. No, you haven't become Buddha yet? Take so long? What? What? Not yet? What? Everybody. Everybody is a Buddha? <laughs> oh, me too, fool. <laughs> so then why you sit there like idiots? <laughs> and listen, and listen to a non-Buddha like me. <laughs> What's wrong with your eye? Your wisdom eye open and you don't need it? <laughs> huh? Here? Little has a star. Little star. Her style? Yeah. What? Is there a Japanese? Oh, I mean, no. A little infection. Infection? From here? Here or from home? Where? Melly? Melly? Why? You, you, you do something? You work or something? Is there any uh, translator there? Okay, you talk there and the translator will tell me. What's wrong? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Is it very bad? Just a little. Little bad. <laughs> a little bad? Okay, we take you together. <laughs> oh, welcome. I, I took care of her eyes because she, her eye was something wrong. Mm -hmm. Her style, you know, mm -hmm. her style? Yeah, yeah. Inflammation around the eye. Oh, is it very serious? Uh, not too bad, but uh, she had some treatment at home in Seoul. Oh, she already had it there. She yeah. says it's here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. She told me, here. That's <laughs> 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 a little difference, huh? Mm. So I put some uh, the, uh, antibiotic ointment in, in her eyes. Is it enough? Um, I think it's enough. Okay. I, I gave her uh, okay. antibiotic Okay. How long does she stay here then? Um, How long will she stay more? Maybe one more week. Oh, I better um, take eye specialist or something. You think it's serious? You are not the, 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 the eye doctor, you are a dentist. <laughs> You, you, as a Zen doctor, you know, I say, teeth doctor is a little bit far from <laughs> from each other. <laughs> you treat the teeth and the eyes differently. 
Hey, what can I do? Yeah. It's funny, huh? Okay, I wish uh, maybe the doctor will look at her later, huh? He's an infant doctor, you know, like for baby, but, but perhaps you know something about eyes. Eyes are very tender, you know, like babies, so <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> okay, you just arrived? A few days ago, I haven't seen you at all. I was oh, 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 translation. I love the translation. Oh, but the other guy, is he not there? Okay, okay, so you, he, she just arrived, you know, huh? Immediately you take her to work and then you sit there, <laughs> like nothing happened, she volunteer? Really? I okay, okay, never mind, never mind, it's your own business, it's Korean people business. <laughs> All right, so, um, so later when the doctor comes, make sure he looks at both of them, huh? To see whether they uh, require um, more treatment, okay? If he doesn't know, just say he doesn't know, huh? Just because he's a doctor doesn't mean he knows anything. You know what dogs are like. Huh? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> huh? You're all very funny. I talk perfect English and you always laugh at me. <laughs> huh? Something wrong? <laughs> no? Did I speak the wrong thing? No. Correct, huh? Yes, of course. <laughs> so, any more complaints? No. no. <laughs> of course not, huh? And you're okay, huh? Even more people, you have enough food, huh? Yeah. Actually, I don't want to rush you all to come here together in one, one time like this, but I, I never know when I will stay here for a long time or not. Even sometimes I would like to stay longer, but then something unstable, yeah, make me go. Or some necessity in other places, huh? Okay. So I only know for sure this time that I stay one and a half months, you know, until middle of this month. But if I stay longer, well, you may stay, I don't care. Hmm? <laughs> As long as I have enough food, it's okay. <laughs> you have no problem? No. Really? You must tell me. Is the food enough? Yes. More than, more than No, because we eat only twice a day, you know. Is that enough for you? More than twice? Three times? Yes. Well, you, you eat in between, huh? And that's all right. It's all right. Huh? Yeah, don't be cheated because uh, the monks eat only twice a day, you know. They have their snacks, you know. <laughs> they have their, how say, allowance, uh, that which they buy, you know, extra, so they eat what they, they, they want in between, you know, like snacks. And, and besides, there are a lot of nutritious uh, food, you know, free in the kitchen. Do you have them here too? Yes. Like, uh, how to say? Lychee. Huh? <laughs> Lychee? Lychee? Oh, lychee mango, that's different, that's a fruit, yeah? But there are some uh, drinks, nutritious drinks, you know, like vitamin drinks and those are a lot of, uh, I would say, mineral, mineral drinks, you know those? With a lot of, uh, like, mm, like sesame powder, huh? And wholemeal, wholemeal wheat powder and things like that, they mix together. They call it the eight precious ingredients. So when you mix it with hot water or cold water, you can drink. Those are always available in any kitchen. You know, in the monk's kitchen, nun's kitchen, and in your kitchen, perhaps? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, you have? Outside? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. You freely, you know, you take whatever you, you can and eat whatever. You. <laughs> eat, uh, how is it? Eat as much as you can, right? <laughs> huh? I would say, what, in America they advertise something like? All you can eat, yeah. <laughs> all you can eat, <laughs> and all you can drink. <laughs> But because last time, last time I heard that, uh, you don't understand? All you can eat? Oh, all you can eat. You understand now? Okay. In uh, America, they have such restaurants, yeah, uh, where they don't have the menu. But they have like a buffet counter, yeah, so many things here, yeah, hot and cold. And then you go there and you eat as much as you want and pay only five dollars, <laughs> yeah. I went in one of them, <laughs> and then uh, a Chinese restaurant. But you know, help yourself, and then you eat as much as you can. But you pay only the same amount, okay? 
doesn't matter. You eat much or you eat little, it's up to you. But you pay cheap, the same price, $5 or $10, whatever the price there is. So I went in one of them. I told some of you, did I tell you? Yeah. Perhaps in Chinese, huh? No. Yeah. I went in one of them and uh, that, that they say the sign, all you can eat outside. That means you eat whatever you want. Anything you can stuff in is yours. <laughs> and you don't pay more, you see? You pay $5, it's $5. But inside, there is a sign, you know? <laughs> if you take too much and you can't eat it, then it's fine, you know, the fine. One dollar for how much? <laughs> how much left over, etc. Yeah, thing like that. But I don't think every restaurant is not the same, not the same. Oh, but you're okay, huh? Because last time I heard that, like, uh, they say if they cook for you, especially already, and then you always look at the Chinese section there, <laughs> the workers, you know, whether it's something else, and then you also try. <laughs> and then when the workers come, there's none left. Is that true? Maybe you don't know, huh? Maybe you a uh, language problem, right? How do I know that's Chinese? <laughs> the food doesn't say anything. <laughs> so later I say, well, then you bring your food out there and eat there. <laughs> because they eat different hours. You, sometimes they, they, they work a lot and they don't eat, and then they eat later. So the food is laying around there, it's inviting, you know, inviting the foreign hunger ghost, <laughs> hungry ghost. <laughs> But does the food taste better here or not, somehow? Does it? Yes. I hope so, because I, I, I'm worried that you're not used to with the, the style here. You know what? You can volunteer and cook Western food. No? Why not? No? You okay? Yes. It's all right if you accept it. Yeah. Maybe less trouble for you. <laughs> Otherwise, I tell you, it's not fun to mess around with the fire in, in uh, such a weather like this. Huh? It's very hot. They're all sweating. Mm. But they're very dedicated, huh? the people who cook. They cook with love. Mm? Yeah. Whether they come here for one day or they cook every day, they, they're really dedicated because they love to eat themselves. <laughs> they're very sympathi sympathet sympathetic. Yeah, to the fellow eaters. <laughs> Anyhow, if you really cannot uh, eat this kind of food, huh, you may organize uh, one or two days and cook them yourself. Uh, cook yourself. <laughs> and cook yourself well, okay? <laughs> Any complaint about food? I mean, I, I don't mind if you tell me so I can arrange something. No? We have a few foreigners here, three or four. <laughs> I can cook some salad, you know, very easy. Put it in a machine, you know, chop it, and then everybody, okay, come, feed in time. <laughs> we are all vegan. It's easy to do, huh? It's really okay, huh? Yeah? Because I know not everybody likes uh, Chinese food, even though it's very famous. But if you are happy, you know, you will eat anything. That's the secret. Yeah. When I was uh, running around, you know, having no business like this, I eat anything and it was always good. So good that I can't believe it now that I cannot eat. It's just a different taste now. I always feel a lingering nostalgia for the food <laughs> in the olden times when I have no business, when I was not uh, taking charge of this job. Yeah, I eat better, yeah. Now uh, we have a lot of food. Food before was a little bit less, but it tastes better. Now more food tastes, tastes no good. <laughs> Every day I eat uh, maybe once or uh, twice or one and a half and still have to force myself. <laughs> That's it, end of food <laughs> business. You have any questions, new ones, hmm? that you want to ask me? Otherwise... No? no? No. No, really? Good. That's good. <laughs> I don't like questions. <laughs> the other day I invited all the children. I do like questions sometimes, I must tell you. Intelligent question, you know? It's very good. Give me some kind of material so that I know what you need. Uh, give me some clues huh? as to what you need, then I can tell you. Because I don't need anything, so I don't know your needs. It's very difficult for me to know your needs. I mean, uh, material-wise. Material I do know sometimes. 
but I can't always uh, put it into words. Whatever you say it inside, then it will manifest itself huh? without me doing anything. So you cannot say that I know anything. And then again, you have seen me doing it inside, so I cannot always say that I don't do anything. <laughs> But truly, uh, do without doing, you know, I do but I don't know anything. So if you need something, huh, you don't understand, you must tell me. Mm. I like intelligent questions. It helps you. Mm. It helps me to tell you, to, to talk to you. Otherwise, I, it's very difficult for me to find a subject to talk, you know. That's why sometimes I have to read books, yeah, and to read uh, sometimes newspapers, things like that. See what the world people are really swimming in, you know, then I can explain somehow. But I'm fed up with newspapers <laughs> and books sometimes. You can't just read all day long. It's tiring. But I don't like a uh, question when it's nonsense. <laughs> the other day I invited all the children up, you remember? Yes. Yesterday, yeah? I said, okay, uh, you meditate well? Yes. Uh, do you have any questions? Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, some of them asked me, the first one, Master, did you make the vegan cake yourself? <laughs> I say, no. And later, Master, do you make the jewelry yourself? I say, no, not this one. I can't tell lies. I say, I made some down there, but not this one. These are fake. <laughs> so they asked later, another very important question. Master, the clothes you wear, did you make yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, very good for me. One, one question I can say, yes, yes, I did it, I did it. <laughs> so both of us were very happy because I can't sit there and say, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm disappointing them, you know, because I think I am omnipresent, omnipotent, and, you know, uh, I can do anything, uh, everything I <laughs> do. Because the parents keep telling them, Master can do anything even make cakes for you in a dream, <laughs> things like that. So they keep asking me all these kind of questions. And sometimes it's just not good to tell the children like this, right? You have to specify something, like Master can do everything when necessary, yeah? When it's really necessary for you. Otherwise they come and ask everything, do you make the cloth, you know, do you make the cups, <laughs> and all that kind of thing. <clears throat> And uh, also some people, yeah, when you tell your children, make sure you tell them in a logical and truthful way. Don't exaggerate things, just for your own sake. Like some people uh, threaten their children, like, if you don't do this and that, Master will come and spank you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the Master doesn't come and doesn't spank him. <laughs> so uh, next time he will not believe, you know? He will not believe in the parents, or perhaps he will not believe in the Master. Both are no good. Oh, sometimes they make a promise, like, look here, if you are quiet, if you are very brave, you are, if you are good, you are quiet, then uh, Master will come and take you to such and such paradise. Yeah, you go to sleep now, Master will take you. Okay, the child very very excited, you know, expecting and go to sleep, and the next morning the Master didn't take me anywhere. <laughs> and again, again. So when they come in on Sunday, they say, Master, why didn't you take me to such and such a place? I say, I didn't say I would take you. Say, Mama, say that you would take me if I go to sleep. <laughs> I say, what Mama says is different. I didn't say anything. So I have to say, um, I have to change it, you know, a little bit. I say, what your Mama means is if you go to sleep early and if you're good, behaving well, maybe one day Master will take you. I have to say, maybe. Uh, because maybe not. <laughs> uh, you never know how, how big her wisdom eyes is, is, you know, maybe it's, uh, it's still closed. When they are children, it doesn't mean they are completely innocent and clean of karma. So that's why you've seen a lot of what you call les enfants terribles, uh, terrible children around, that happens. Especially nowadays when television, newspapers and books, bookstores, are full of criminal violence, you know, records and pictures and news. And they're always available to children without even any cost. At the library and all that, you can go and read newspapers, you can read the discarded one, and then television, the children can turn on themselves and then know everything. That's why now that we have teenage gangs, huh? 
which is a big headache in America and also in some other places. Children sometimes point guns at parents and all that kind of things just because they learn bad things from the society. Oh, that's terrible. And sometimes our children after initiation, they go outside and they swap even sometimes meet with other children. They don't even know what's wrong from right sometimes. So that's why the children must have the parents together who meditate yeah, and who guide them and who watch them all the time. Because uh, it is very difficult for children to survive in such a violent world without guidance. Even the teacher cannot always control it because they come to the school for a few hours, just teach, 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 and then they go. After that, they're free and the parents are busy. Mm. Ah, what a world, huh? What a world. It's even difficult for children to survive. And then, therefore, the children today are not the children of yesterday. Yeah. And also some children brought with them a lot of bad impressions from the previous life that has not yet completely shut off or cleared away. So many children, they're bad from birth. You know that, huh? <laughs> Even some of the, uh, the newspapers have printed uh, bad news of a three-year-old boy killed his sister six months. Yeah, he picked her up and just bang her until she's dead. And then when the police asked her, him what, he, what had he done, he picked the doll and did the same thing, saying, dead, that's it, dead. He hated the child. Yeah, three years old only. Already have hatred for the sister. Yeah, he did it again to demonstrate how he did it. And he said, dead, that's it. No remorse, nothing. With such expressions of violence. And then we can't just always say children don't know anything. You have seen many children are very, very intelligent, right? Some of geniuses, <laughs> four years old, like Mozart or other scientific uh, geniuses of this world. Lately, uh, one Indian boy, I can't remember the name, he's 17 years old, and he, he was the youngest ever person who entered college. You know that news? Kind of doctor? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. For medical? Yeah. yeah. 17 years only. And very bright. <laughs> and I think the youngest one uh, for medical this year or for a long time, huh? right? I can't remember clearly, but I just remember he's very young and a genius, yes, admitted genius. He's an Indian boy. Mm. So you can't say that uh, people get older and uh, they get affected by the society all the time. In uh, many cases, yes. But not all cases are like that. Is that not so? So actually children are not always as innocent as we want them to be. That's why many parents have headaches <laughs> and teachers have problems too. And they are very quiet in front of the parents, but behind that they play hell. Something like that. So parents sometimes don't know. I know one or two like that. <laughs> sometimes in front of me, <laughs> I know a girl, very small, six or seven. In front of me, I never knew that she's bad, but behind, she do, she make all kind of trouble for anybody. <laughs> and it, it, so much, she, she plays so well that I didn't believe all these people <laughs> until I found out myself. It took a long time, nearly a year. Like she couldn't even fool me. Six years old only. She fooled me from six years until nearly seven. <laughs> It's a long time for me, but of course I'm busy. Huh? I don't always check up and uh, I don't see her often, so I don't know that much. The children are not always innocent. <laughs> Therefore, what I mean is that even the children might not always see the master. We thought the children are very pure. Most of them are pure, yes, but not all. Not all of them descended directly from heaven. Some of them dis uh, ascended from a lower place from lower plane of existence. In that case, their memories, their reactions, their karma are entirely different from the ordinary children or from the higher dimensional children. Mm. That's why not all the children can see the Master that easily, even though many children do. 
So if you promise your child <laughs> that the master will come after he sees sleep, uh, I, I can't guarantee. Huh? Make sure whatever you say is logical uh, and then it will happen to the children. Otherwise you say perhaps. I think so, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Otherwise children will lose trust in you and then lose trust in the master as well. It's no good for the children, okay? All right, that's it. I think, um, I think you have seen me enough. <laughs> i see you tomorrow. i make sure I come every day, okay? At least, all right? Uh, before, I used to come and see the newcomers every time they come. But I think uh, I will just come here and see them. Huh? And then like that, the old also can see me. This is more convenient since I came once anyhow. So. But the trouble is when I come to see you, you expect me to say something. I cannot always say something. No, no huh? I just sit here and look like this. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so I will see you around, huh? I don't really want you to go, but we're just like this. I'm very shy. I can't just sit here forever. <laughs> what can I do? What else can I do? You suggest. Hmm? Stay there for a while. Oh my God, I'm very shy, you don't know. Well, then tell me something. Sing a song. You heard all my songs already, yeah. Can you meditate with us? Meditate with you? No, not today. <laughs> well, another day. You already finished, okay? Sometime I come and meditate with you, not, not every day, all right? Mm. You've done your job and you deserve to go to sleep. Mm. Not always every day is the same. It will be too, too boring, too routine for, 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 for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. I'm not an imitation bird, you know. <laughs> I can't just sing when you, <laughs> when you turn on the clock. It's diff I can't do that, yeah? I must survive, okay? I must survive in order to serve you. If I force myself too much, I will have no more inspiration and I drop dead. You, you understand? Yes. Because of you, I have to be flexible, not because of myself, only because of you. <laughs> you, you understand? Uh, capish, 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 capish? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, maybe I will think of something else to amuse you, but I think you are amused enough here, no? Yeah. No need to sing song and all that. We're not nightclub here. <laughs> You see, it's always different, yeah? You find yourself something to do or to read, yeah? Mm, but you don't, I don't think you want to read here, do you? You can read at home, no? You want to read something? You want to read Chinese, for example, yeah? <laughs> we have a lot of Chinese books here. We have English books too. You want to read something? No. Should I buy <laughs> huh, some magazine? No, huh? No magazines. Mm. Oh, you need news magazines? You have some news now? What do you like most now at the moment? What picture? What picture? Oh, my picture. Oh, that you have anywhere. I mean the inside. What is most popular topic? Master says. What else? Hmm? Story. Stories. This, uh, this time, what do they have the best there? What is the best? Huh? You haven't read it yet? We don't have yet. You don't have yet? We just <laughs> Anybody read already? Yes. How about you tell the secret of the pyramid? Uh, pyramid, you like that best? Yes. Uh, anyone else like something else? You may not know. You might not know? Yeah. What is it this time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo? Oh, that's supposed to be a secret that you may not know? <laughs> sure, if you were not there, you may not know. <laughs> Uh, so anything else that you like in there? Something that you really like? Aphorism? A small, small sentence, yes, yes. Okay. If they translate it well, then it's good. What else? No, that's it? Huh? Well, uh, magazine is uh, every month is getting better and better. Uh, well organized. Better every month, huh? Sure, sure. The, everything is uh, better with experience, like everything else. Hmm? And better translators, perhaps. Yeah. More on time. 
Yeah, with me kicking behind her back, <laughs> <laughs> pushing behind. <laughs> yeah, before they used to take a longer time. Mm. Now I think we have uh, maybe more, more fellow practitioners and people practice more and they're more mature and their sacrifice spirit is becoming higher. They're more willing to do things, you see, with more loving and more, um, yes, more willingness. So things are better, of course, of course. Mm. We mature with time. Mm? Well, magazine every month is getting better and better. More well organized. More better every month, huh? Sure, sure. That everything is uh, better with experience, like everything else. Hmm? And better translators, perhaps. Yeah. More on time. Yeah, with me kicking behind their back, <laughs> <laughs> pushing behind. <laughs> yeah, before they used to take a longer time. Hmm. Now I think we have uh, maybe more, more fellow practitioners and people practice more and they're more mature and their sacrifice spirit is becoming higher higher and then they they're more willing to do things you see with more loving and more um, yes more willingness so things are better of course of course mm. we mature with time mm? that's it that's all and nothing else you like huh poetry, poetry. poetry. Uh huh, uh huh. Anything else you like? How to love wholeheartedly. What is that? How to love wholeheartedly. Ah, how. how to love oh, but that's a, an article, huh? Oh, is it good? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Anyone else? I want your feedback. What do you like most? Oh, every month different, huh? At least just tell me this month. What else you like? Forgot? Huh? Don't remember. Don't remember, so huh? I, read it yet. I didn't read it yet. Uh, other people who read already, you can request from. Huh? Where where did you request the magazine? You ask them and they bring it down for you, okay? Mm. Because they think you receive them at home anyhow. So <laughs> they didn't think about that, huh? But you may request. Okay, how many and so we organize with each other. Uh, you don't tell me what else you like. Uh, if you don't tell me, I don't make it anymore. <laughs> it's an ultimatum. Hmm. I have less than any other master at all. I don't build powerful house. I don't have powerful people behind me. I don't know any politician. I don't do anything. I don't have even rich and famous disciple and all that. I don't even know if I do have <laughs> myself. I don't know. And we have nothing except uh, sugar and candies here. But who knows that? If, if somebody wants to make trouble for you, anything could happen. In the olden time, people say that the, the life of the master is as thin as a threat, you know, that you sew your clothes with. That's how the life of a master is. Hanging there, anytime, can mean trouble. And uh, what happened to Jesus or Buddha? You know, they all had some problems. Even they had people who love them, but they had people who hate them. If you're famous and rich, <laughs> many people love you, that's enough to be guilty. I don't need you to do any criminal things. If many people love you, if you're too famous, then, then you, in, you just better watch out. Don't just sit there and enjoy and thinking you are God on earth. No, no, no. I'm not that stupid, huh? But there's no such thing as my own place. I sleep on a bed of thorns every night. It doesn't matter how thick the bed mattress is. So no, nothing good there to see. If you have wisdom eye, you see how I sleep. You don't need to see that. You see only karma, bad things. <laughs> you will cry only. There's nothing beautiful there for you to see. Doesn't matter how the appearance outside looks. Huh? If you want to really see my place, you have to stay with me every day and see how I suffer, how I work day and night, how I take on a lot of trouble and a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of bad energies from the disciples and from the, those who don't understand, who, from those who misunderstand, from those who meditate less. That's what you really have to see. Huh? I go anywhere, any places. And this is the most beautiful quarter that you're staying in. 
Okay? And I'm still beautifying it. See? We don't have river like you have here. <laughs> the only river in town is where you stay. And my beloved, you know, construction, I did it together with the monks for three days and nights, non-stop. So this is most beautiful place. Before, we used to come here uh, once a while, maybe Saturday or something, me and the monks and the nuns are next to the river because we love it, and barbecue. See? But now you are here, okay, you stay here. <laughs> and also it's very hot. If you come in winter, maybe we'll barbecue together next to the river. Then you know how I love this place. Then you know this is the most beautiful place. Of course, everywhere is a little different. But there's no need for you to be interested in the outside surroundings. Besides, sometimes I do take you in, in near my kitchen and things like that. Don't I? Did I not? Yes. Yeah. yes. So now everywhere I go, I dare not sleep, except in a strange place. <laughs> Funny. It's an orthodox, but <laughs> when I sleep in a hotel, <laughs> I sleep better. <laughs> Uh, nobody guards, you know, no, nobody. As, or when I'm in Monaco, you know, oh, I go shopping every day, uh, you know, I go anywhere. People also stare at me, look at me too, they like it, but they don't know me. They don't bother me, they don't sneak into my place. The most they want is an autograph. I say, I'm not a movie star, what shall I sign to you? <laughs> they still want it, you know. So I say, even if I sign my name, you don't know. I say, never mind, sign it. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Cain one day, because it was a film festival, and I had never been there before. And also I had nothing to do. And some of my disciples liked to go see what it is, you know, because we heard about it. So we went there one day, because we had to invite the tickets as well, you know, might as well, I huh? wasted, huh? <laughs> and went there, and all the photographers, all the mm, video, just directly at me. Oh, I was so embarrassed, I didn't know where to hide. It was terrible. <laughs> I said, never go there again. <laughs> never. They're supposed to be there to hunt for the actress and actors. Why they hunt me? <laughs> okay, and then I run away, and then they run after me. <laughs> oh, terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> and people say, Master, you never been so embarrassed before. I said, yes, I don't know. <laughs> it's different here, because I think they mistaken me for a movie star. But I tell them, no, no, I I'm not movie star. I come to watch movies. <laughs> I came to watch a movie stars. <laughs> Still, they didn't believe. They chased after me, and they begged me, please, I just take one photo. So sometimes I, I relent. I say, okay, okay, quickly, you know. And then it's and then I go. I say, one only, and I say, cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> as much as possible. You know? Oh, gosh, so this is something. But at least they don't know me, you know, so I feel very assured. And I sleep anywhere, I sleep very well. But in a known place, you know, I don't always sleep well. The more I'm famous in one place, the less I can sleep very well. It's just, I don't know why, it's just natural like that. There are two different distinct classes of people who commit sin or commit uh, transgression of the precepts. Two categories. The first one is involuntary. You know, not from inside. For example, oh, that person is too beautiful and he's weak. Or sometimes we have weakness of human nature. That I allow, okay? But with such a weak person, he always feels very guilty. He feels very remorseful, you know? And he always tries to improve himself and try to get away from the situation. And that doesn't ride on his face. The atmosphere doesn't ride in his eyes and in his face. I don't like that I have to see through sometimes, but in some case I do. If I have to know, I know. If I don't have to know, God protects. <laughs> As I don't want to know too many bad things because it's, it's, it's how say, contaminate me. <laughs> I want to stay pure, pure. <laughs> I'm very pure. I dare not say I'm very pure, but God gives me some gift, you know, inside gift. So when I have to tackle something, for other people's benefit, then I know. What I have to know, I always know. If it doesn't concern me, or I don't have to take care, I don't have to know. So I don't necessarily know everything, because it's not necessary to know everything. Everything is yours, right? In your house you have a treasure, like, and you have a garbage room, and you have a jewelry room, and you have dressing room. Everything is yours. 
But you don't have to always open the garbage door to dump the garbage in or to take the garbage out. You always do that when necessary. And you don't always enter your dressing room for evening gown unless you go to the party, even though it belongs to you. And sometimes you might forget one or two dresses that you have, because you have too many, right? I do forget, okay? And sometimes when I look at it, I say, oh, well, did I design that? <laughs> did I design that dress? It really looks good. Yeah, sometimes I forget what I have designed. Until I have seen all of them, I say, wow, that's a lot. It's really good, yeah. I was thrilled when I saw the fashion show myself. It looks so good. <laughs> Didn't it look good? Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Mm. And some of them I forgot too. Forgot that I have them. See? So likewise, we might not always have to take out the, the Akashic record, you know, which is on the second plane, in order to know everybody else's past and present life. We will know. If we need to know, then we take it out and have a look. You know what I mean? Otherwise, why would you always look at people's garbage? <laughs> Good and bad, it doesn't concern you. See? Just because if you are a teacher, huh? Sometimes you have to deal with some person, then it's written in their face and in their book. They cannot run away. So um, wash yourself every day. Eh? Don't let me see your dirty face. I don't want to because it's very unpleasant. Eh? Very, very unpleasant. When I have to deal with you in that way, I don't like it. I want to keep my impression of people as pure Buddha all the time. But unfortunately, unfortunately for me, God has given me this position and I have to know everything, even though it's no good. Your personality, not your inner nature, not your Buddha nature, your personality, your past records of written in the cells, things like that, the material records of your life, previous life and this present life, that is written there. Not your pure nature, your nature is always pure, but I don't like to look at your garbage, I really don't. So please, yeah, clean your house every day. Don't think that I don't know anything and then you do anything you want. I don't know, but I do know. I can't explain to you, but that's the way it is, okay? Okay, good night.